Republicans on impeachment in the House, do you think it's inevitable they will move to, to impeach the president? You know, they, they are certainly trying. What we're seeing, though, is that they can't even name what they would impeach the president for. We're seeing this. This case has come right before uh, the House Oversight Committee, over which I'm, I'm the vice chair to, or rather, vice ranking member to ranking member Raskin. And we have had countless closed door sessions, closed door depositions. We've had open door hearings about this. And the Republican Party cannot even name what the crime is that they are alleging the president or, frankly, anybody else that they're trying to investigate to have committed. And impeachment is one of the most serious procedures that we have in this country. And it has to tie directly to a crime or misdemeanor or some other direct action uh, that we find completely incompatible with the presidency. And they have not even been able to name it. What is it? What are they actually investigating the president for? And they don't have an answer because the president has not done anything impeachable that they've been able to prove. And so what they're using and what they're doing is taking impeachment and taking all of the most serious procedures that we have as a country, and they're learning to use it for political they're politically weaponizing it for an election purpose, for a political purpose. And in doing so, they are putting the people of this country, everyday Americans, absolutely at the bottom of the barrel, and they're putting themselves first. Mm. It's a selfishness that, that really endangers this country. It endangers our electoral process. It endangers our legal process. It's deeply cynical, and it's done to reelect themselves and line their own pockets. Mm. Congresswoman, I appreciate your time. Of thank course, you. thank you. Still to come, breaking news on that section of a plane that blew off a Boeing aircraft flown by Alaska Airlines last